But how can a quantum computer actually be built? In fact, how is a single qubit realized? And how can we ever put together many qubits in a large-scale machine? My name is Lieven van der Seypen, and I'm building a quantum computer at QTech. In my lab, we implement qubits in quantum dots built from silicon. Quantum states are extremely fragile. The art of quantum computing consists in isolating the quantum bits from the rest of the world to minimize disturbance from the environment, and at the same time, breaking that isolation to perform operations on the qubits. Still, errors will unavoidably happen and must be corrected along the way. For instance, using the surface code method. Making any type of quantum bit is extremely challenging. It requires ultra clean materials and very precise nanofabrication methods. As a master student, you can contribute to building quantum bits in the lab. At QTech Academy, you will learn about how quantum computers can be implemented. You will learn about the many approaches to realizing quantum computers and how they compare. Besides qubits and silicon, at QTech we also pursue other approaches like Majorana fermions, superconducting qubits, and hydrogen vacancy centers in diamond. Uh, Majorana fermions allow for so-called topological quantum computation. So in 2012, here at the TU Delft, we were actually the first to measure signatures of Majorana fermions. What you have to do is actually braid them around each other in order to do a quantum operation. And for this project, we work together with Microsoft. And master students are extremely uh, valuable to solve all these problems in the lab. Superconducting qubits are a very promising approach for quantum computation. We're hoping to scale to 49 qubits in five years using a surface code architecture. We need very intelligent and passionate master students to help accelerate the efforts here in the lab.